lot of people dead in there. Well, it's definitely trying to rain, you two. That will be all right, it? it's all got the road. That'll uh, make a nice corrosive uh, mixture for us. But the roads are dry at the moment. It might blow. This it's quite windy, and it's uh, blow. I think it'll blow. I think it'll blow for sure. Taking a left here to Hard Row. This is we're going over to the tubs here. Well, we will be shortly. I'll show you turn off and put the tubs in a minute. If you continue going down that road, we went down there and we'd come to us. Right, more or less it's at the centre of us. Yeah, it would have been painful to get out 350, you know, this cold, it's, uh, I think it's colder than it should be for the time of year, and I think it's set to uh, warm up next week, but just at the moment it's, uh, it's below average temperature, it's got to be, this isn't average temperature for April, although in past it has snowed in April, hasn't it? into hard row now, this is hard row so if you're going to go over uh, butter tubs pass, look for hard row and uh, not if he stopped to let us pass or he stopped to sort his side yeah, look for hard row, drive through hard row, and uh, you'll see it just around this bend up here, as a turn off to the left, make sure you take the left. We're in towards the brighter skies, I think, I think, uh, you know, the dark skies are actually under him now the darkest area uh, so we're heading to uh, brighter skies and this is the left I was telling you about this sign posted Simon Stone and Mucker Mr Gear there that's uh, watch out for that one especially going over that there Apple Cross It's time of year when roads are getting all clear, you know, you're hoping that the roads are getting clear of crap and they, oh no, so up, I don't make it going again, but I'm on about the shale, you know, and the pea gravel that um, washes into the middle of the road or onto the edges. We're just in that period of time now where it'll get uh, washed off the road itself and then leave the roads all clear for summer. In fact, we went over uh, Malham yesterday, uh, John, I think he'd been over the cattle but then he went straight into the middle of a, a collection of stones and it spun his back wheel. Yeah, that's a point. Went up quite a steep hill yesterday and uh, the 250 lost traction back in. Days aren't shot, uh, days aren't shot. Days aren't shot at yet, you know, there's still a decent bit of dread left on, but it's one lot to watch out for. Flood of air though. Yeah, 
Eee, that's nice, isn't it? That nice. We need to get some more heat in these tyres and road. That's all we need, a bit more heat. The steady climb up here and it does, uh, hey, we're up to 6 centigrade now from this morning's freezing condition, so Graham will be feeling quite tropical. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Look at that guys. Here we go and get to the top. Oh yes. Oh yes. Would you believe? I think we're averaging, no, oh no, it's June. This is having a missy fit again. Well, the tank range is 224 miles per gallon. <laughs> 220 more miles per gallon. With a tank range of 224 miles left, it's saying. Uh, so that's not bad, is it? We've averaged uh, 29 miles per hour and we're averaging 55.5 to the gallon. Fifty-five point five to the gallon. So that's okay, isn't it? We open up into some fantastic uh, views up here and you'll see as we go down for the top how beautiful this countryside is. This is a shame it's not a tad warmer. My mate will be feeling it at back. There you go. Look at that YouTube. Feast your eyes on that. Look at that. What a beautiful countryside this is. A couple of tubs of flowers there, obviously, some is at some stage, unfortunately, has um, succumbed. That's what I'm on about, that gravel on the road there, did you see it? He's on one, he's going for it, look at that, absolutely stunning. This is what the road that Jeremy Clarkson said it's one of the, what well, is this most scenic road in Britain, or well, it's England, England sorry. Look at that, wow way. oh yes, this is good for your eyes isn't it. Proper eye candy is that in it? You got to ride this uh, pass, guys. 
it is uh, one of the stunning ones. Just deck all that in, I'll slow down and deck it all in. God, it doesn't get any better than that, does it? The British countryside doesn't get any better than this. And it doesn't end there, it just continues down here. Look at that. You know, if you're blind, you, 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 how would you describe this to someone who's blind? You know, we think about it. Um, don't give your eyes to somebody who can't see. If you're dead, not such a bad thing, is it? You know, if they could see this and they'd never seen it before. You know, if you've got your eyes out back. I'll have to reconsider. How could you explain this to someone? Oh. How long would it take you to explain this? To describe it, not explain it, describe it. I'm using the wrong choice of word there, describe. Picture. Picture this. Right, the, we normally take the uh, left there, but on this occasion, I'm going to take the right. Welcome to Swaledale. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I like a bit of Swaledale. Right on with Swaledale. Yeah, so I'll try and point out, well it's called Ask Rig where we normally turn off, but we're not turning off at Ask Rig today. We are going to continue to hopefully find that road. If you remember, we've been down here, and I said uh, I can't remember the. I know, I didn't think it was so far, did I, that day? And we carried on going and going for quite some time, and it was further than I thought. So we've got quite a way to go down here. Got wigwam. There you have it, wigwam. That's another one I'm there for, me, isn't it? I've got his gap on at least. Ah, oh, right, red face, aren't they? The hands, the hands are like sausages, the fingers are like sausages. All red and swelled up. Weather hardened. They're hard. Hard men. I bet he didn't have no electric gear in his uh, tractor or his quad. No heaters are out like that. Them guys are seasoned. Seasoned hard men. Everybody knows everybody out there in the village. Country life. Country life. 
to like a bit of country life, YouTube. Is that muck or all muka? Ainsworth has uh, pointed a couple of these names out to me. I don't think him very much, but my brain it just doesn't absorb. I try to. Swell there, look at this farmer's arms. Is it nice round here? Look at that, who lives in a house like that? Who lives in a house like that? How quaint. Who lives in a house like that? Would you ride this road at 60 mile an hour, Eugene? A bit too, honestly, it's a bit uneven. If you have a sports bike, you don't want to be think, seriously thinking about it. It's a bit like a patchwork club in place. The suspension on the... Uh, if I were up here you now, I'd be bouncing up and down. Suspension on the Honda's soaking it up. Probably a storm bouncing up and down slightly, you'll probably see it on camera. My mate's slightly hanging back there, he's... Well, that little bit of uh, spits and spots has uh, disappeared. I didn't think it had rained today. Roads are bone dry around right here. That's the road, I think. That's the road. Ask Rig. That's the one we uh, we've been over. Now we're going to carry on travelling down here now till we find the other road. Oh, try and find the other road, should I say. Anything could happen in the next 20 minutes, YouTube. Stick with me. Anything. We could end up anywhere. And probably will. Probably we will. I'm trying to remember what it were on map. It's a couple of weeks since I read that map. I know, I know YouTube, I should have read it again this morning or last night, this morning, as you're aware now, went, uh, didn't go as to plan. So, couldn't have read it this morning, should have read it last night. At time last night, we were just chilling out, me and Sprocket. We were just chilling out. If all else fails, we'll stop down here and either go back over Astrid or ride on to um, Kirby Stephen. But I'm sure we'll find it. And it's there, it's sure it has in it. It's in it with my own eyes. It's here, just finding it. And if that's it. <coughs> no, that's somebody's house, isn't it? It's for sale. Seven centigrade now, YouTube. It's going up another centigrade, so things are warming up. Positively tropical. I'm warm. The extra layer of kit on today. I'm glad I put this little body warmer jacket thing in my jiggy on. It certainly uh, made a difference from yesterday. What beautiful countryside. Everything's breaking bud in it. 
I've been dying to try and find uh, an oak tree because the uh, rule of thumb is oak before ash we're in for a splash ash before oak we're in for a soak what's my good buddy saying now? Port at side here. That's a crack pot! Ah, well to be honest we pair of crack pots aren't we? Oh we'd have a look. Do. Yeah. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Don't there if you want. Got that one here written all over, we've done it really, crackpot. Go and have a look at crackpot, let's see what's a crackpot. Although I reckon it's further on. Graham! The road we're after might be further on because you come back over the bridge and we just cross the bridge. Yeah, I think it's going to be further on. Because on the map it sure is coming back over the bridge. I'm sure. Hey, sure. Well, not that sure. <laughs> Uh, gun aside. We'll serve crackpot for another day. Coming to gun aside. Gilfoot, King's Head, Reef, Richmond, Oops a Daisy. And if this is it. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it, YouTube. Hopefully, I think we might be on it. Yeah, I think this is it. It would have been nice to go to crackpot, but we will go to crackpot one day, no doubt. Now he's got it in his head and I've got it in my head. So there's every possibility going to crackpot. Whatever's at crackpot. <laughs> there be me and him at crackpot, that's what it'll be at crackpot. Anyhow, we'll see where this takes us. I think it's on a, I think we're on a 30 mile an hour or something. It does, uh, I don't like to see dead things in the road, do you? Strands. Strands out. Strands fall. That's beauty right going out we uh, like some main grain, neither of us are bothered, you know. If we change the route, don't change the route. Back way back when we're together, me and him. That's all uh, wild ramsons or known as wild garlic. I have eaten the bulb. And it's the one that smells of garlic when it rains in a, in a woodland. If you ever walk through a woodland and you get that strong pungent garlicky smell, that's what it is. Ramsons or oh, wild garlic. 
common now. All the relay. Must go up and then wind down because I can see a road over there, like going back over at Moors, if you will. Uh, maybe this is the road we're on, but it's got to at some point turn to the right. How do you get over that? Unless we've come down that. No. I wonder if that's the road that goes to Crackpot. What's that bridge doing down there? Obviously we turn to the right here. I think we should take a short right. No? Not at all. A mile to crack pot that way. I should have gone to crack pot. I think we're going to like to go to crack pot. What's it crack pot? You never know if you don't go. Has anybody been to crack pot? YouTube. Any of you be, I'll tell you what it is, you certainly haven't been on this road with me before. Definitely, I've been on this road in my life. Has anybody of you been on this road? It's very nice. Bit up and down, eh? Um, you know, when the glimpses of the scenery you get, uh, you can do what's that sort of houses? I'd like a castle, miniature castle. that. You know, when you get in the view, so we're obviously going somewhere beautiful. Look at that, that's what I'm talking about YouTube, look at that. I wonder, I wonder, it's I'm gonna go up there my good buddy. Now this is all right, isn't it? Langweight. You know what they say? You keep going up and up and up at some stage. You see all them shale on floor there, I don't know if you got a glimpse off floor. But that's what John went through yesterday, he came off a cattle grid and rolled through a load of loose chippings like that and that's what I'm on about. He had a, an unnerving moment, a heart flutter shall we say. Well then, see where this takes us, Eugene. Well, I've never been up here. Well, I've got this road to itself. That's for sure. Wow, a UG. This is it. This time we'll make it the real thing. So we've got Wreath, two mile that way, and we're going to uh, Langweight, two and a quarter mile that way. 
So what's happening here then? What's up with this guy? Are you alright? Something wrong with him, did you? I think there's something wrong then. I thought there was something wrong then. Oh, this is a bit of training for our trip, isn't it? This is a bit of training for our trip. Wow, this is barren YouTube. This is Byron. I don't know about the wind, the wind noise. I don't know if it's affecting my voice. Uh, I've just shut my lid, and I don't appear to be steaming up just yet. So hopefully we can keep the lid shut now. But uh, where are we? It's like. Uh, I don't know what it's like. It's like a lunar. Oh, these roads are nice and uh, twister. Hey, look at that little forward. Isn't that quaint? Where's my good Buddha? Catching up. Imagine this round here. Try your brakes. I'm steaming up a bit, YouTube. Sorry. Talk me up a bit. Wow, hey. Wow, hey, YouTube. Well, that's testing. Matter of fact, bikes, Paul. If you're thinking of going up yonder, you want to get yourself this way for a bit of training. <laughs> Not saying that you need it, Paul. Far from it. You're an experienced rider, mate. You'll be like, you won't have a bother. I'm just saying if you wanted a bit of extra, um, it's quite steep. If you're going over Apple Cross, mate. Oh, Graham's all right. Oh, he's here now. Oh, look at that. Oh, that dear oh, good. Wow, hey. That wing, or peewit, whichever you want to call it. Well, you spy up for choice. Which way to go? It looks like it splits down here. somewhere else in it that's somewhere else are you having that you Jay? it'll take me a while to edit this one you know I'll get it all together and but then uh, the roads back there was very steep and windy took a bit of uh, concentration what my mate behind us liked it. If we get to this here language and we've got a cafe or something, I think we'll, uh, we'll have to stop for the brew because the time we're we on now, half eleven. I'm getting a bit thirsty. Uh, oh, a pheasant, the nattering and... Uh... Well, I was watching a film about riding motorcycles and it said you've got to stop regularly for drinks because you get dehydrated and your concentration level drops uh, dramatically when you're dehydrated and when you're riding these roads particularly you need your concentration about you because I'm telling you now that they, they were steep might not show it on film because on the uh, or not it doesn't show it as steep as it is but then then they were that was steep and tight. So, right. 
I'll stop down here with Graham and discuss what the uh, situation is. Anyway, this must be a Langweight. Never been to Langweight. See which road he wants to take. Which way do you want to go, Jim? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> where are we? I don't know. Langweight. We're at Langweight. Do you want to go right there? We'll go down there, because the right, the road goes right up more is that way. But, Graham, there's one goes right all that way. If we went that way, we might get a brew with a church down there. Yeah, because we'll you can get a brew. And this one heads back towards uh, Ask Rig. Uh, so we could save. I'll come here again because I want to go that left way. I want to see where it goes, but I know this one at some stage must go back in the direction of Ask Rig. And we, we know Ask Rig when we get to the other side of that. They are like village halls, you know, and churches and village halls. Langweight. Orkin Gothdale. Orkin Gothdale. What a name that is. Orkin Gothdale. Orkin Gothdale. What's the car park for? Where, where do you go? Orkin Garthdale. What a name. A R N A R K N K A R K E N D A R T H D A L E. Orkin Garthdale. Who thought of that name? Look at old petrol pump. Like a world at time, I forgot. No, we're out, we're out, that's it. We're back up moves. Another motorcycle behind us now. Oh no, horse-drawn vehicles, don't start that again. Horse-drawn vehicles and animals. That was, <laughs> that was last week's topic. <laughs> It's uh, the wind's getting fair up up here. However, it's gone up another degree, so we're up to eight degrees now, eight centigrade. Don't know where we're going. Uh, yellow houses. What's that stuff? Arkell Moor or something. Right, we're out in the open now. So it's beautiful scenery YouTube, I hope you're enjoying this. We're joined by another motorcycle at the back. I wonder if he knows where he's going, or she, for that matter. But um, I'm happy I've uh, been up here today because it's giving this kit a workout and uh, the clothing I have on at the moment, I'm happy with. Yeah, I'll be alright with this gear on. And the beauty about it is, um, I've got my waterproof uh, oversuit that'll go over the top as well. So yeah, happy. And I'm glad I've tried it out before we went, because if I'd have gone as I did yesterday, 
I think that would be a mistake. I'm not saying it's going to be cold up there. It might be 48 degree out, like it might be uh, a lot warmer. But if it was as cold as it was yesterday, I'd have, I'd have made a mistake. Having said that, along the 250, and I didn't have the wind protection I've got today. You know, with the screen. What beautiful scenery. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you know, because I thought I'd seen some fantastic scenery this last couple of weeks. I've seen lots of scenery in my life, obviously, but uh, you know, finding this this gem, another gem, and where we turn right there, it also goes left. So we've something else to. Uh, adventure on. Who lives in house up there look? Can you see that white house? Now that's gotta be one lonely place, hasn't it? Well hey. What is that place? How'd you get there? How'd you get to that house? I can't even see a road. How the hell do you get? There's no road! YouTube, there's no road to that house! Unless there's one comes from the top or something, I don't know, but there's definitely no road up, not that I can see anyway. Where's that last bike gone? Oh, it's behind us. That shale again, in it. I don't like that shale. I don't like it. I'd seen a ride on cobbles, cobblestones, and that shale. Gives me the jitters. You think there'd be a cafe round here, wouldn't you? You think? I think there would be. Surely. It's a very bikery friendly area, look. Petrol. Wreath. Wreath! Alright, there's a brew shop here. I know there's a brew shop at Wreath. I'm going to uh, park over there. I'm going to park on here somewhere. Where's he going? We need a little gap, me and my mate. We need a little gap. We need a little gap. What do? The deal, chum. This camber's not good. This camber's not good. Park up there. Try and find a blue. Or do you want to push on? Do you? We're we'll going to find this place over there to stop. Get through that gap there, Graham. Probably Africa to into to the back. It's a lot damned over here. Don't want to go past that point to the no return. 
What the hell? I can't get the bastard back. What, John? We need to get over there, don't we? Huh? Go on, then. That's dark. I thought he would uh What do I say about riding on cobbled? I think I've <laughs> seen a ride on chill. Well, there's toilets there. Oh no, mate, it's been somewhere up there. Gonna go. I'm just turning off YouTube. I have to look blue anyway. <laughs> 